All right, so this is what happens when you start a new file in Nobi Nobi Boy. Creating Nobi Nobi Boy, save data. Okay. I don't know why you have to confirm. Like, it must be like a required console certification feature, but like... I, I, I can't play the game without making save data, so like, why is that a question? No, oh, you haven't signed into the PlayStation Network. Um... Sure. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Wait! Oh, crap. I think I might have to sign in to, uh... To see girl status. I don't know. I've never not been signed in for this game. But yeah, I'm playing on my Japanese account. So if nothing else, this will show us what happens when you play a very a brand new file. Here in the year 2016. It's been so very, very long since I've seen the tutorial. Does it even... I don't think it requires us. Oh! Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's start with the boy quiz! Aw, oh, yes! Guess the controls for boy! Are you, are you people ready? Let's start with question number one! Alright, the boy quiz is the tutorial. How do you make boy walk? With these! Aw, oh, yes! That's correct! Fantastic. Yeah, this is a pretty cute way of doing a tutorial. Boy is walking. Oh, look at that crab walk. Move the upper and lower bodies to the left and right stick. Now for question number two. Resist and stand firmly with these. That's right. So you're just supposed to randomly press buttons until you figure things out, I guess. Because I think that's how this works. I already know the controls, of course, so I can't quite do this. That's so strange. <laughs> what can he do when he's resisting? Also, this game uses makes use of the uh, the the um, or it gives you the hint. Um, it uses the pressure sensitivity of the triggers. So, like, if you're holding L L two slightly, you open your mouth. And if you press R two slightly, you poop. And if you hold them all the way down, you uh, grip the ground. And it's different from other games. So be careful. Question. Next up is a camera question. Oh, I'm good at camera questions. How do you zoom with the camera like, like a this? Oh, yes. Which is not what anyone would ever guess, but you know what? It works. It's not, You don't really need to screw with the camera too much, except for the left and right to like, move it around. I had no idea. This game has extremely unique controls, but you know, it, it, you don't really need to do anything quickly or anything, so it doesn't really matter too much. I think those things just make that sound when I poop them out. Which is strange, because they're like just flower lumps. How do you move the camera left and right with these? Yep. Yeah, so it just, it just I've been doing these so fast it immediately finishes up, but it does give you the uh, answer at the bottom. You seem to be really good at quizzes. I, I am the best at quizzes. This next question is a little difficult. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Question six! What's gonna be question six? The last question! It's gonna be so difficult. I'm gonna die for everybody. I'm, I'm so toast. I'm gonna be expelled. The boy quiz was useful, but... I still don't fully understand the controls. I wonder if there's a manual. There is. There sure is. Press. Oh, oh, there's, there's little Pac-Man things that to hide the thing. Oh, oh, here you go. It's like, nah, you don't don't press those buttons. You gotta press this button. Wait, how do I? I wanna, I wanna have yes. It's a triangle. You gotta eat those words. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Select button for the manual. Yes. Uh, I was eating words, bro. You can't just you can't just interrupt a man while he's eating words. Great work. Okay, you're a little too close, buddy. It's, it's a little too close. Yeah, completed the boy quiz. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm the fairy. Oh. So that means you purchased Nobi Nobi Boy? Yes, I did. Great. I'm so glad. I feel like crying. Oh. Anyway, thanks a lot. Let me explain about this game. Nobi Nobi Boy is all about 
selecting a character named Boy. There are no missions or enemies. Okay, let me shrink this guy a bit so I can actually read. You don't collect objects by rolling a ball. This game doesn't have any of that stuff. In this game, you stretch and shrink. Stretch and eat objects? That's all there is to it. Take control of Boy and stretch his body. It may sound simple, but it's a lot of fun. There's one main goal, though. You stretch Boy to make Girl grow. I'll explain more about this later. So that's everything for now. So go and have fun experimenting. Oh, I almost forgot. Have you visited the Boy House? It's the house with the nose. Enter the Boy House. To access the game's options. Give it a try. So yeah, this is our tutorial for Nobi Nobi Boy. Oops, Boy Quiz Expert. And come to think of it, uh, this is going to be a little weird, because I did this out of order. I did not realize that I could redo the tutorial. So, um, I actually recorded this after the other bits of the video, so I may say some dumb things after this, like, that I didn't play the tutorial, but I just did. But yeah, you know, it's a time paradox. Anyway, this is the boy house. Use the left and right stick to move around. Or the left stick to move around. Do you want to read the manual? Yes, give me, give me all the sweet manuals. Alright, I actually already know. Yeah, the boy. Yeah, we, we get... We get achievements for exploring, like, game features and stuff. Alright, I, I don't need this anymore. Yeah, it's pretty much just quick game and new map. There's really not too much going on in terms of stuff. Yeah, th that is the basics of Nobi Nobi Boy. Well, that is was the tutorial, and this is Nobi Nobi Boy. Oh, my head is giant. Hello. That's a, that's a thing that happens sometimes. So, Nobi Nobi Boy is a game about stretching. We uh, we grow our length as we showed in the tutorial, sort of, and um, then you use that length to unlock other planets. And um, it's a it was a very long running game. I mean, it still exists, but the main goal was just stretching boy out like this and submitting that length to unlock new planets and uh, it took us took us six years I believe but uh, we did reach the final planet we did complete the game so to speak um, and that's why girl is here watching over us uh, she didn't used to be here on earth this is earth obviously I mean you look around and you see you see all of the details of earth giant jungle gyms um, people doing that Russian dance, um, giant flying turtles, you know, all of the accoutrements of Earth are here. So the way Nobi Nobi Boy works is, like I said, there's multiple planets, and, uh, you start off with just Earth, which seems to have the most variety overall. Um, every level that we're on is randomly generated, and you just have this sort of weird little world to explore. And uh, if we go into our little house, we can see the chipmunk and generate a new world. That's right, Parker. And we get a nice little drum roll. And once we're done with a little bit of PS3 classic loading, you get a new planet, or no, a new level, I should say. We're still on Earth. Let's see, this place is overrun with cops. And, uh, criminals as well. The cops, the cops seem to be just fine with the criminals. They're just, you know, hopping in. Well. It's like an idyllic fruitopia. And they're, oh, they're not very good at driving, uh, so I'm gonna eat them. Oh, they're too big to eat. So, so you can eat things in this game. Oh, you can eat some things. Uh, if it's too big, you can't eat it. You can usually eat people, but people, some people are too big. People are sort of just at the cutoff for not being able to eat. So uh, let me let me explain eating. There, there's a lot of weird controls in this game, as you saw in the tutorial. It's a little weird, and y your main there's really no goal other than to stretch and unlock the planets. It's really just a game that you you move around and you do things because it's fun. And so I just ate a bicycle. I mean, if you want to play a game where you can eat a bicycle, uh, that's this game. If you want to play a game where you can poop out a bicycle, that's this game. You can eat bicycles, you can poop bicycles, those are pretty much the two primary things in this game. So, boys' segments control independently. I'm not sure if that was super clear with the uh, tutorial. Yeah, I move my left stick moves the head, right stick moves the butt. 
Um, you can eat with the mouth, you poop with the butt. It's very important. And, uh oh my butt is flying off screen. Oop! And you get kind of control hard to control when you're long like this. Um, I tend to stretch out less often. You're gonna see, you're gonna see less stretching in, in these videos than I would normally do when I play, because I was, you know, trying to help and stretch out. Um, in order to, you know, reach the other planets. But, uh, it's kind of hard to control. So I do a little bit less now. But yeah, basically, what you do in this game is you just pick a world. At, you know, at random. I mean, the world picks a level for you, basically. Then you poke around, and once you get bored, you, make it, you generate a new one. It's like an exploration roguelike, sort of. Well, it's a procedurally generated exploration game, I would say. Uh, we didn't really have that kind of words for when this came out. This came out 2009? Um, you know, way before the current wave of exploration slash walking sim games. Way before... This is on PS3, by the way. Uh, it was on mobile, but the uh, mobile version got shut down, I believe. Um, I don't know how the mobile one worked, but uh, I only played it on PS3. So, um... So yeah, at the time this game released, it was pretty weird, and, um... So the creator... This is, this is by the, the creator of Katamari, and uh, he's worked on some other game projects. Uh, he's working on Rotam now. Um, but, uh... At the time, everyone was pretty confused, and, like... People either thought it was a really cool toy, or like, you know, this isn't a video game! Yeah, this is one of those... This is one of the earliest games I recall sparking the not a video game uh, discussion, as well as Electroplankton, I believe. And you know, in, in that Wii era, there was a lot of like not quite games, and but they weren't quite like the indie scene wasn't as big then, so we didn't really have the more fruitful discussions we currently have and non-fruitful discussions. Um, so this game was kind of like what, and I really loved it. Um, a lot of people didn't, but uh, a lot of people did. You know, if you like the sort of stuff that I tend to play, you know, the weirder stuff, the stuff without end goals, you'd, you'd probably really like this. I like my weird, dumb stuff, and this is very, very weird and dumb in the best sense of the word. So I figured what I do for the series is I'll just show a bunch of different levels, maybe 10, 15 minutes per world. And, um, you know, a bunch of different random maps, and we'll just give every map... I'll just explore until I'm either done or, you know, I get bored on the map, you know, I don't, I don't see anything cool to comment on or interact with. You, you can just make new worlds at, at your whimsy. Like, it, it say I don't like this world, Wh whatever, I'll make a new map. I don't want those mushrooms. Do you want those mushrooms, Parker? I don't want mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. Well, I don't hate mushrooms. There was this amazing um, place that had... Um, um, it was Chinese and something else, like Burmese, I want to say? Uh, it, it was something you don't usually see paired with Chinese. Oh! There's two of me. Okay. There's just there's just two of me. That's, that's fine. It's fine. It's just another me. It's... whatever. Um... What was I saying? I got distracted by being, like, cloned. Is my clone? I think I hear my things being doubled. Oh, yeah, there he is. He doesn't follow up very well. Oh, look, it's like a desert with, like, rain. Oh, I, I like that little strip of different biome. You don't usually see something quite like that. This is a very quiet planet. Um, what was I saying? Can I eat me? Can I eat me? Oh, he's too fast. Okay. Um, oh, he stretches with me! Is he the same? Oh, he's different colors! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, wow. Um, I was saying words and I completely forget them. This happens sometimes. Um, um, frick. What were the words that I was saying? Oh man, they, they, they are totally gone. I, I got cloned and I guess the part of me that was saying whatever I was saying is in the other clone and not in this one. Uh, but yeah, this is a cute little place. Oh, if you get a spinny thing like this, you can actually get cut in half. It's actually very difficult to get cut in half in this game. Let's see if it happens to my... my imposter there. 
It's getting wrapped around. The physics were a little basic, but uh, for the time, these were pretty decent physics. You know, this was like right around when physics in games even started being a thing at all. Ooh, ooh, I think he's gonna get split. Yes! I'm not, I'm not getting split myself, but that's fine. Look at this, my, my frickin', my partner, wait, can I eat my other me's butt? What happens if I eat it? Okay, camera, uh, camera. Okay, camera's a little weird if you wanna adjust. Uh, I wanna adjust the pitch, I think it's called pitch. You can zoom in and out, I can zoom like that. Uh, that's really not helping. I just want to see, I want to watch my head, the one head, eat the other one, the other butt. That is what I want to see. Oh, I think the other me is like stuck inside of the thing. Oh, no, he's not now. Where did the other butt go? I'm so confused by these physics. Where, where, where did my other butt go? Where is my butt? I have no butt and I must fart. This is going to be a very mature street here series as you can tell. Wait. The other me disappeared. Oh, no he didn't. Okay. I was gonna flip out. Hold on. What happens? What happens? No, no. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Eating yourself is extremely difficult. Get out of the way, robot. I need to, s I need to show this off. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay. I just ate myself and pooped myself out. This is the best game I've ever played. Like, y name another game where you can do that. You can't even do that in Binding of Isaac. Y you can eat poop and like, you know, fill a room with poop. But you can't eat your own self and then poop your own head out of your own butt. Like, like hold on. Hold on. I need to eat myself with, with, wait, where's my head? Where's my other head? Okay, there it is. Okay, wait. You have to move with just the butt so your clone doesn't move. Okay, let me... No. Yeah, I just ate myself and I am trapped inside of my own body. This is fantastic. This is... This is quite possibly mankind's greatest achievement. People dare to say this isn't a video game? What is more video game than me eating myself and my own head being trapped inside my body and then graciously pooping my own head onto my own other head. What's more video game than that sentence? I defy you to find a more video game sentence. I defy you. All right, it's about time we picked a new level. I hope my doppel butt ganger will join us. I'm not sure if he will. I've only had that happen once before. Um, I've only had, I've only done this once before. You must bring your own weapons. <laughs> oh, hey, it's nighttime. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, he's here. It's the other me. Wait, can I eat the whole other me? Oh, I killed him. I, I, the two are now one. I'm not sure if I should feel glad or horrified. I, I just consumed myself entirely. And I phased out of existence, leaving only me behind. I think I need to go lie down. I don't know what's real anymore. Fortunately, I had this nice music to contemplate my existence. And we got some nice witches and demons. Hello, Satan. <laughs> Listen to his voice! That's amazing. That's amazing. That's best Satan right there. <sighs> Yeah, this is just kind of pfft, which is running into Satan, you know, standard stuff. Crap. I have a confession to make. I had to re record this video for a reason, and so there's actually a later level where I get another me, like, I get another cloning thing. So you're gonna hear me talking about that as if it hadn't happened before. Um, it is not a time paradox. Um, no more so than me, there being two of me and me eating myself is a time paradox. 
Um, anyway, it, it's gonna happen again, and I will once again sound like it's the first time it's happened before. But, uh, yeah, I had to re-record this one. I was not expecting that to happen. I was expecting standard, you know, Nobi Nobi boy stuff. You know, standard stuff like this, you know, this horrible monstrosity. That's called an Okapi. Um, I can eat the Okapi. No, I can't. Uh, there's a little boy effigies. This is a sumo wrestler riding a cow. You know, just normal stuff. There's lots of normal stuff in this video game. I'm gonna try to show you as much normal stuff. This this Pippo needs to calm down. Cal calm, calm down. Is he trying to, like, eat me? He's trying to eat me! What the hell? Only I eat people. Jerk. And we've got... What is this? What, what is shooting the fire here? Is this like a cannon? No, no it's like a campfire. Uh, can I eat the fire? <laughs> and something's like scream at you in like Animal Crossing voices. I'm not really sure what all that's about. Like inanimate objects will scream at you when you poop them out. This is a great game. I'm gonna say a lot of really good sentences in this series because this is just a fantastic game. There's a banana car. That's one of the most normal things I've seen tonight. A banana car, whatever. You know, it's it's normal stuff for normal people. But yeah, way back to something I was talking about in the beginning. So there's different planets in this game. And so, at the start there was just Earth. It took us a long time to get to the moon. I mean, not a long time. No, the moon, the moon took a few days. Because um, the moon's only like, the moon is not very far. It's like a couple of light seconds or something away from the moon. Um, from Earth, rather. Oh, this is Donut Land! Hell yeah, man, Donut Land! Um, but yeah, in contrast, Mars is like three light minutes from uh, Earth, and the other planets are like many, 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 many times farther. Um, so at first it seemed like planets past the moon would take us ages to get, and eventually they introduced multipliers for the length, so we did eventually get further and further, um, but Pluto was like, it's a long freaking way away, um, and we didn't think we would ever get there, and then, sure enough, six years later, the servers were still up, still accepting length, um, and we made it to Pluto, and then we made it all the way back. Um, and we unlocked all the content in the game. Um, there's actually a letter written by the developer of the game um, back in 2009, before they even knew if it was ever going to happen, before they knew we would ever, you know, solve the game, so to speak. Um, and it's a really touching letter, and uh, I'll read that for you at the very end of the series. Um, you can already see it. I have a video of it without me narrating. Um, I'm gonna do that last thing, because it's... If you haven't played the game, it's gonna mean a little less. A lot of people were really touched, even if they hadn't played the game. Like, it's a very emotional letter. Um, but I think it'll mean something more if you, uh, if you journey with me through all these different worlds. And you sort of take some time to appreciate... Yeah, it took a long time just to explore one of these worlds. Like, these aren't just... Like, uh, I think it's 11 worlds. These are just 11 throwaway worlds, just willy-nilly, you know, unlocked. Like, it took everybody across the world several years to make all of this stuff happen. And uh, for those of us who played it, it, it's pretty magical for uh, the whole world to be opened up. So just Eskimos and Koalas, which sounds like a, you know, mocks into a bar joke. Uh, we got some happy trees. Some happy little trees. Spinning around here. We got some really- there's some very good physics going on in this game. Um... I explored a few less levels than I thought to because I got so distracted by getting cloned because that was amazing. Um, Earth does have a good variety of things and we'll hopefully see some special stuff. Um... <laughs> but there's plenty of stuff on the other planets as well. So... Pff, look at this. Look at the hat spin and hit its nose. Um, the feet, the hair on your house is random. Um, it, it changes every time you start up the game. So, I'm about to head to Mar- or to the moon here, rather. Um, we'll head to every planet in order of, uh, you know, in order of unlocking, or, you know, distance from the, from the, um, from Earth. So there's Earth. There's some anglerfish. You know, it's just a normal scene here on Earth. We got a flying submarines. You know, it's, they bear absolutely no resemblance to a certain Beatles song at all. Oh, look at the- it's- it's freaking- it's the Big Daddy. We got freaking monoliths. We got all of the good things, the good Earth 
good regular Earth things for regular humans. So, how do you get to different planets? You fly, obviously. Stupid. I mean, why would you not know that? You're so dumb. I got some nice little skybox. So you come up here, and um, you can go to... Well, let's report our length, just because. This is the whole reporting method. Uh, this is how Girl got as long as she is, you know, as long as the entire solar system. Um, you just strength, you, you stretch in, you know, in accurate meters. So, like, I, I actually stretched out 1,000 meters. And so we feed her 1,000 meters, and she'll grow 1,000 meters. I can eat anything. You're slightly terrifying, girl. But that's fine. Someone needs to stop girl from eating so much. Um... But yeah, so Girl stretched through the freaking cosmos, and it's pretty amazing. It's all just from people manually stretching. There is a multiplier that was applied previously, but um, to sort of help us go, because I think Mars took us a few months, um, and I think they instituted the multiplier to get us to Jupiter. It's been a long time, but uh, the gap between Neptune and Pluto, I think, was a few years. Um... But yeah, just, even just unlocking the moon felt really cool at the time. It took us over the weekend, um, just a whole bunch of people playing, you know. This was a PS3 game, so I mean, the launch, at the time, the launch was sort of, you know, a reasonably big deal as far as digital downloads were concerned. So yeah, tune in next time, and we will visit the freaking moon.